Take a look at problem number 2, 8. The ball is thrown vertically upward with an initial speed of 20 meters per second. Two seconds later, a stone is thrown vertically from the same initial height as the ball with an initial speed of 24 meters per second. At what height above the release point will the ball and the stone pass each other? Well, this is two problems in one, two kinematic problems in one. Yay! So let's take a look at it. First we have a ball thrown vertically upward. So we'll define that initial direction as positive. And we're going to throw it to some height. So we'll have some kind of displacement. It's called delta y1. This is the ball. And we know that um, the initial velocity is 20 meters per second. We're defining up as positive, so that means our acceleration will be a negative 9.8 meters per second squared. And what else do we know? Well, we'll have some kind of time t, t1, which we don't know. And our displacement will be equal to our initial velocity times time plus one-half acceleration times time t1 squared and this will be 20 t1 plus one-half times a negative 9.8 t1 squared so this is 20 t1 minus 4.9 t1 squared alright that describes the ball let's take a look at the stone. Stone is being thrown up positive direction and it will go some kind of displacement it's called delta y2 and what we know about that is initial velocity is 24 meters per second acceleration again will be a negative 9.8 meters per second squared because we defined up as positive. I'll have some kind of time t2 which we don't know but we do know that it was thrown two seconds after the ball so t2 will actually equal t1 minus 2 because it's two seconds less. Displacement delta y2 will equal initial velocity times time plus one-half acceleration times time squared. So that's going to be equal to 24 times t2 plus one-half times a negative 9.8 times t2 squared. And that will be 24 t2 minus 4.9 t2 squared. All right, so we have two equations with two unknowns. And we can actually connect the two by the fact that uh, the times are related. T2 equals T1 minus 2. Also, we know that uh, the condition in the problem was that um, what height will the ball and the stone pass each other? For that to happen, they must have the same displacement. So it must be true that displacement delta y1 is equal to displacement delta y2 regardless of how they got to that final position. In other words, delta y1 might have gone up something like this and delta y2 might have just gone straight there but they're still at the same height when they pass each other. Alright, so let's set this up. We have 20t1 minus 4.9 t1 squared equals 24 t2 minus 4.9 t2 squared. Let's plug in this t2 equal to t1 minus 2 into this equation. So we have 20 t1 minus 4.9 t1 squared equals 24 times t1 minus 2 minus 4.9 t1 minus 2 
square. So we have 20t1 and the 4.9t we have a minus 4.9t1 squared on the left side and really a minus 4.1t1 squared on the right side. Or maybe I should write it out just so you can see it. So we got 4.9t1 squared is equal to 24t1 minus 48 and then we have minus 4.9 t1 squared minus 4 t1 t plus 4. Okay, so now we can see that we have minus 4.9 t1 squared here, minus 4.9 t1 squared there. So our equation looks like this 20 t1 is equal to 24t1 minus 48 minus 4.9 times a negative 4t1 which would be a plus 19.6t1 and minus 4.9 times 4 would be a minus 19.6 add all of our t1's together um, so we're going to have and then put all of our numbers together so we'll have uh, 48 plus 19.6 is equal to 24t1 minus or plus 19.6t1 minus 20t1 so we're going to have 67.6 equals 43 point six minus twenty twenty three point six T one. So T one will equal sixty seven point six divided by twenty three point six. What is that? Sixty seven point six divided by twenty three point six. Two point eight six seconds. So according to T1, the two balls will pass, or the ball and the stone will pass each other after 2.86 seconds. Nice to know. We've always wanted to know that, but we need to know how high that is. And so we'll look at displacement delta Y1, because that's using T1. That's equal to 20 T1 minus 4.9 T1 squared. So that's 20 times 2.86 minus 4.9 times 2.86 squared so what is that? come up with 16.996 or 17.5 So the two balls pass each other 17 meters above the ground. It's very likely that the, this first ball actually went up to a maximum height, then came down, and the second ball passed, or the second stone, passed it on the way up.